Hello everybody, I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. So as you can see, I'm doing things a little bit differently here. I've got uh, this video going presentation style. Um, shout out to Joe, as you can see there, um, aka Stage Noodles. He streams video games on Twitch. Uh, I'll, a link to his Twitch will be in the description below. But he uh, was curious what some of the most important things are in music theory or what I think some of the most important things are in music theory to start learning. Um, so I'll go over some of my suggestions a little bit briefly, but I'll try to go more in depth than normal. So first things first, we've got modes. Um, these are super important to learn. If I don't explain it clearly enough and you're like confused, feel free to ask questions. Um, on top of that, feel free to just Google it. There are probably people out there who have explained it better than I will. But yeah, let's get started on modes. So, <clears throat> we've got seven modes here. We've got the Ionians. We've got the Dorian. We've got the Phrygian. We've got the Lydian. We've got Mixolydian. We've got Aeolian. And we've got Locrian. Now, each of these modes corresponds to a note in a major scale that's the way i like to think about it because that's the way that's easiest for me now they kind of branch off into their own keys and thinking about them as they correspond to a note in a major scale is not quite right but that helped me kind of get the grasp of it is thinking about them kind of like that and then understanding that they're their own thing later on once you grow more familiar with them. Um, that's probably not the best way. It might be a little bit confusing. So if you have uh, questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. But these are very important to learn. Do note, you don't have to learn every single one of them at once. Take your time. Take it slowly. Get familiar with them and how they work. And make sure you start to learn how they're used more than anything. That's the most important thing. So we're going to start off with Ionian and Aeolian. And the reason why is because everybody knows the Ionian mode and the Aeolian mode. Even if you don't know that you know them. So, as you can see from this slide, the Ionian mode is simply the major scale. If you were uh, paying attention in the previous slide and were looking at it, it's uh, pretty obvious that it's the major scale in 3 note per string fashion. And then over here we have Aeolian, which is just the natural minor scale. Everybody who's played rock or even some bluesy stuff knows the Aeolian mode. Another thing to note, another name for the Aeolian mode is the relative minor of Ionian. Um, this was super helpful to me. To just understand how the relationship between uh, the major scale as well as the relative minor works. Understanding that relationship and how to use that was... It, it just changed everything for me. So that's, that's something to keep in mind. And in any given key, every major or Ionian has a relative minor. And vice versa. In any given key, every natural minor has a relative major, which is just Ionian. And so that's super helpful to note. Another thing about modes. All of these notes, in all of these modes, are the same notes. You're playing the same notes. You're just playing them in a different order and with a different... Uh, tonic focus and a tonic is like the root note oh right there yeah as you can see the root note so if we were to take ionian in relation to dorian and let's just say we're in the key of g major and since i'm a guitar player G's, g major is super comfortable for me the dorian is that a that a minor so that's the second note of g major this is all kind of complex and kind of confusing at first, but as long as you know 
as long as you know your Ionian, aka the major scale, you can figure out the rest of these by just understanding that all of these are the same notes just played in a different order and with a different uh, tonic focus. That's what's helped me to understand this, and it's also helped me to become more fluid and more interesting in my phrasing and music. Not saying I'm particularly interesting in my phrasing and music, but you know, got to start somewhere. Now we're going to talk briefly on the Nashville number system. Um, I'm going to let you pause the video here so that way you can see the relationship of each of the numbers in the Nashville number system. This isn't something you necessarily need to know. It helped me understand the modes better going back to modes here, um, because these are, are numbered. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then as you can see with the Nashville number system, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, this little circle with with a, an empty circle, this is just signifying a diminished. So this is a diminished seven. And yeah, this is just, these are all just in the key of Ionian. So if you are familiar with Ionian, you can figure these out pretty easily. The biggest advantage to understanding the Nashville number system is you can... It, it just makes transposing keys better. Or not better necessarily, but easier, at least for me personally. And the reason why is because you're kind of... In the Nashville number system, you're kind of focused on shapes rather than the uh, notes themselves. And now we're going to make connections. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. So Ionian, an example song is Happy Birthday to You. Everybody knows this. It's the major scale. There are so many songs in major. I, I just picked the first one I found on Google. Um, Dorian, Smooth by Santana, very good song. Phrygian, Enter Sandman, Lydian, Dream On, also, sorry, side note, Phrygian, I believe Symphony of Destruction by Megadeth is also in Phrygian. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that song is also Phrygian. So, Lydian, Dream On by Aerosmith, uh, Mixolydian, Sweet Home Alabama, uh, Aeolian, Stairway to Heaven, and Locrian, Sabatru. Locrian is always going to have a super dark, almost unpleasant tone because it's basically the seventh in the key of Ionian and is focusing on the, the seventh, which is a diminished. And diminished, diminished chords sound really unpleasant in a good way, but still unpleasant. All right, so as you may have noticed, I have switched cameras. So really quickly, we're just going to run through each mode. So that way you can see what it looks like. We're going to start at G Ionian, a.k.a. G Major. And we're just going to go through the modes from there.
Okay, so now I will demonstrate the relationship between a couple of the modes, just to give an example. So we're going to start off with um, G Ionian or G Major. I'm just going to play it real quick for you so you can see how it sounds. And then we're going to play uh, E Aeolian. So here's a G Ionian. And then here's E Aeolian. So all of the notes are the same. So the third in E Aeolian, the third note, is just G, right? Which is the first in G Ionian. And then the second note is the seventh. In the second note of uh, E Aeolian is the seventh note in uh, G Ionian. And then the second note in uh, G Ionian is the fourth in E Aeolian. It's just that open A. So you can see all of the notes are the same, just as a demonstration. It's just focusing on a different tonic. So, you know, this, despite being the same notes, sounds different than this. That's just because of the tonic center. So, the reason why I'm pointing all of this out is it's helpful to know not only for the Nashville number system, but just in general. Because then you get this whole swath of things you can do when you're soloing over a chord progression. So let's say we have a chord progression of G major, D major, E minor, and then back to G major. So that chord progression tells us we're in G Ionian, but what we can do with that information is we can say, oh, okay, well, I know the chords are G, D major, and E minor, so I can play either G Ionian, I can play that wherever I want and it'll sound good, basically, with the, some exceptions, but, you know, that goes up to musical preference. Then we have um, this D, which is actually the equivalent of Mixolydian. Very similar to uh, Ionian in terms of the shape, except we've got this flat seventh here. You could almost think of it as a major scale with a flat seventh. So we know that's safe. And then we also know that E Aeolian is safe. But what else is safe? Well, just because it's those, only those three chords, resolving back to that G and Ionian, it doesn't mean you only have to play those modes. You can play some other modes. So for instance, let's say we're vamping on this D major here. Well, a pretty interesting mode to play might be this uh, A Dorian. So I'll just play the Dorian mode for you real quick, just to the eighth. So that might give it sort of a an unpleasant but in a good way, contrast to this D major here, if you're, you're soloing on um, a Dorian. So hopefully that kind of, those examples kind of give you an idea of how to use the modes, or the mode you use, depends sort of what chord you're on, but it, it gives you a little bit of extra flavor and some more ideas on, okay, well, I know this works. Um, people often consider music theory to be a set of rules, 
It's not. It is a set of suggestions. It is a set of tools. It is a set of ideas of things that we know work. But that doesn't mean, for example, if we're playing on that D major, that doesn't mean I can't be a little bit spicy and throw in this uh, flat three. All of these notes here all work with this D. But it's this one in that particular key only works more as a passing note. So, you know, modes aren't a set of rules. They're a set of ideas and a set of tools that you can use. So that way you know what works and you can always go from there. All right, guys. Well, a couple more things before I go. So first of all... I am going to upload to a website called Session Studio. I'm just going to upload that chord progression that I showed you, that uh, G to D major to E minor back to G, in a backing track. And you guys are free to download that to practice, to get familiar with modes. At least you can get yourself familiar with my personal favorite modes of, you know, Ionian, Mixolydian, and Aeolian. The second thing I want to say before I hop off is go check out Joe. He has been incredibly supportive of me. And uh, we just had a Sons of the Forest live stream uh, together. We both dual live streamed it. It was a super fun time. So if you're interested in gaming content, go check that out. All right, peace. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs>